What's going on, E Nation fans? This is EPress48 here. Welcome back to another video. And to honor the start of Racing Stories um, tomorrow, um, from episode 1 through episode 25, those will be the first five episodes to be publicly published on on this year. And um, I wanted to do like the first five episodes uploaded every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time because I didn't want you guys to wait too long like I did with like between July and October um, with the, I think, Road America video and then the Dan Weldon or Las Vegas IndyCar video. I didn't want that to happen again because I thought I wanted to continue doing stop motions, but I haven't completed that one stop motion indie car race i've done since september so yeah i didn't want to do that same mistake again so speaking of which like episode 25 i am working on that episode so yeah the first five episodes will be like five straight weeks of racing stories new episodes so we can get some content going on and more racing stories will i do that again later on this year who knows let's see let's see how everything goes so to honor um, of new episodes of Racing Stories coming up, I want to do this video for a while. Um, title says it all. It, I want to do, I want to talk about uh, canceled racing stories ideas. Uh, what does that mean? So there are these racing stories videos, racing stories episodes. I do have ideas, but I decided not to do videos on it for certain reasons so far as of the making this video there are seven um seven ideas that i decided to cancel so let's go over that so the first um uh, racing stories idea i decided to cancel is about what i've been told they go back in 2020 uh the title was going to be called new skate nascar's most in new skate nascar's most embarrassing controversy yeah the the alleged news that a crew member of the of the Richard Petty Motorsports team founded the NASCAR overreacted everybody overreacted and then called the FBI then after that Steve Phelps was talking about Wallace about it and then they and then the I stand with Bubba thing happened the next day and then the day after that race it, it was it turns out it was a garage handle and everybody overreacted and to this day unfortunately Bubba Wallace is still getting accused of something he didn't do. <sighs> I did a community post about it last year because I didn't I tried to do a video about it but it's just hard to talk about it. The reason why I canceled the Newsgate episode was because honestly to me it's way too touchy. It's just hard to like look back at it's just one of those things I, I just want to forget. Like, everybody knows summer 2020 was just awful. It was hard to go through. It was just a very touchy subject that literally nobody can move on. Like, I tried to move on. It's hard. Like, I just, I just want to forget about it. And to be honest, I just don't want to do a video on it. It's too touchy and too divisive. So, yeah, so that's the first idea I canceled. The second Raising Stories idea I decided to cancel, it was a Malcolm in the Middle episode called Stock Car Races. And the title I wanted to do was called Malcolm Goes Racing Stock Car Races. If you guys watch Malcolm in the Middle, you guys know what the show's about. Uh, crazy Family, Malcolm the Smartest Kid. Uh, with uh, an, a stupid older brother and an innocent little brother named Dewey. I mean, the second oldest brother named Reese, who was who was the the bad kid, and then the oldest um, brother named Francis, who was in like I believe military school and all that. And he's got a crazy mother and a Brian Cranston as a father. That show, you know, the show found the early two thousands on Fox. I love that show. My old, one of my all-time favorite live-action shows. Um, there was this episode called Stock Car Races when um, Hal uh, decided to take Reese, Malcolm, and Dewey to a NASCAR race at Irwindale. 
uh, because he wanted to see his favorite driver, Rusty Malcolm, race one final time, and he wanted to bring his episode, and, and, and he wanted to bring his sons along um, to enjoy the moment with his with his sons, as an amazing memory. But um, if I can remember the episode, uh, Dewey was about to go across across the track. Uh, Malcolm and Reese were trying to find Dewey, and then there was issues. Of course, typical Malcolm in the middle fashion. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Hal's favorite driver was called Rusty Malcolm, and that was how that was how Malcolm got his name was because Hal's favorite driver. The reason why I canceled that idea was because because the show was owned by Fox. And the 20th Century Fox and all that. And um, back when I had my original channel, I, like, I was a 13-year-old kid, 12-year-old kid, uh, filming Family Guy videos. And um, I did get a strike from that. And um, I, again, I don't want this channel, I don't want something bad happen to this channel. So I really can't do that episode because, you know, copyright from Fox and all that. So, yeah. And then uh, there's this third episode I canceled. It was a Ronnie Peterson's, Peterson story, former Formula One driver. The title was called Super Sweet, the Ronnie Peterson story. I wanted to do, I wanted to do a video on, on Ronnie Peterson. Sadly, he was the one that passed away from the 1978 Italian Grand Prix. If I can remember correctly... He was part of the championship battle alongside Mario Andretti, and I think both of them were teammates. Mario won the world championship in 1978, but sadly, his I think his teammate and championship rival Ronnie Peterson passed away sadly, like hours after the crash. Um, but the story got darker. Like I think nine years later. Ronnie Peterson's wife committed suicide because she could not get over the death of her husband, Ronnie. And then, I think like a couple years ago, some assholes decided to vandalize Ronnie Peterson's um, memorial. I don't know, like in the cemetery or something like that. I don't remember, but it was something like some, some douchebags decided to like vandalize the Ronnie Peterson tribute stuff. It was, even after the, the death of Ronnie Pearson, it was dark because of his wife coming to suicide and then the vandalisms. It was just a dark story. But I decided to cancel that idea because, you know, Formula One's copyright. And, um, yeah, Formula One's very strict to copyright. So I don't think I can do Formula One videos with, like, their videos. So I decided to cancel that idea. Um, there was this fourth episode, a fourth idea that I decided to cancel called The White Knight, A Dick Trickle Story. So I think somewhere around 2019, somebody gave me an idea to do a story about Dick Trickle. And I remember saying like, yeah, if I can, I can do that. But sadly, I just never done it. And a couple of reasons. One, I just never done it. So I decided to cancel it. Number two, Fox Sports NASCAR Race Hub did a documentary about Dick Trickle, so to be honest, I'm not sure what was the point of doing that. But yet, I decided to do a Tiny Lun video because, hey, here's the thing. Uh, Tiny Lun's story was so interesting, and I thought it was amazing to do a Tiny Lun story, but for Dick Trickle, I don't know, it was just Race Hub did it, so I didn't feel the need to do it, and I just never done it either way, so yeah. And then there was this fifth idea called Dale Jr.'s Lost 2001 Car. It was about Dale Jr. having an original all-star paint scheme from the Winston. I believe Ducks Unlimited uh, wanted to sponsor Jr. for that race. There was a racing reference story about it, but I decided to cancel that idea because there was not, there was not a lot of information. And Junior decided to run the 2001 Major League Baseball All-Star Game, I believe, at the Winston. Hey, I had to look last minute before I did this video of what car he ran instead of the the original 2001 All-Star car. So, yeah. And then the sixth episode idea that I decided to cancel was called 
how AJ Foyt cheated death. Originally, I really wanted to do a story about how AJ Foyt nearly died from the 1965 Riverside NASCAR race because it was so interesting that AJ died and then came back to life. What happened was that AJ lost his brakes and he was about to enter a corner and he had no brakes so he had to like turn dead right into something to stop to to make sure like the crash wasn't as bad but then it did get bad either way he died but then he came back to life so the reason why i decided to cancel the idea because like years ago my good friend nick nascar nick 24 ada and i were talking one time and then nick told me a story about how ag foyt almost died or actually died but came back to life so I decided to give that idea to him because he knows the story more than I do. And I still remember him telling that story to this day. So yeah, if you want to check that video out, uh, go to Nick's channel or, or go to the video. Link's in the description below. So yeah, that was originally my idea, but I decided to give that idea to him. So yeah, you're welcome, Nick. <laughs> so the final idea that I decided to cancel the seventh and final idea that I decided to cancel for racing stories. It was called How Jeff Gordon Lost the 1996 Championship. So, Jeff Gordon was on his prime. During the mid-90s, Jeff Gordon was very, very dominant. That Rainbow Warrior number 24 was so dominant. He won in 1995, wins the Cup Series Championship. I think he won 10 races that year. And in 1996, I think he won 10 races again. But... He did not win a championship because he had some bad races. Terry Labonte, his teammate, who was more consistent than Gordon, finished more races. He won a championship despite having two wins. And also, he kept racing despite having an injury. Because he wanted to keep that Ironman streak going. And, um, yeah, the reason why Gordon lost the championship because he had some bad races. And Terry Labonte was more consistent. So, yeah. I, uh, somebody named 24 Amper gave me that idea, but the reason why I never got through it was because, it was because that there was like, I think the Iceberg did like Missing Range Jeff Gordon 1996, and I think Darian, aka Black Flags, Black Flags Matter did like a Good Seasons Jeff Gordon 96 video, I think, I could be wrong, uh, let's see how it goes, post-production, but um, yeah, why would I do a Jeff Gordon 1996 video? If others had done it, I didn't want to look like I was stealing ideas or doing the same thing or whatever. I don't know. So, yeah. So, those are the seven canceled racing stories idea that I decided to cancel. Hopefully, you guys understand the reasons why I decided to cancel. Uh, hopefully, I don't cancel, like, other ideas. If not, I can just do a video like, like this one. So, yeah. I mean, either way, hopefully this was, like, interesting. You just never know. Like, canceled media, canceled ideas can be interesting to listen or watch at times. So, yeah. Um, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Don't forget to, uh, you know... I, I always mess up the outros. I don't know why. I'm sorry. It just happens. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for supporting E-Nation. This is Impress 48 signing off. And please, whenever I bring up Bubba Wallace, do not fight about him. Come on. He's not. He should not be a controversial individual. But no. What do you expect from the NASCAR fan base? All they do is fight about Bubba Wallace. God forbid that he's either positive or he's just breathing. Everyone's going to get all upset. Everyone fights about him. That's bullshit. For fuck's sake. Anyway, so yeah, you know, treat each other nicely. It's, be kind, it's free, and all that stuff. So, yeah. This is Impress48, signing off. Goodbye, everybody.